My name is Nicole Hammond. Uh, I am from, I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but I grew up in Los Angeles, California. And uh, my profession is I am an academic counselor and the tutor coordinator for the Center for Student Success at Robert Morris University. Um, so I grew up in the suburbs of Los Angeles, which is in Glendale. Um, my high school and elementary school and middle school consisted of 1% African American, me. Um, until my younger brother uh, then was able to attend at the same time. So he was two years younger than me. So my brother and I um, faced different types of stereotypes, but more me because I was the older than he did. Um, different stereotypes in the sense of, you know, uh, different slang terms were used. Um, there was a point where uh, in high school the Rodney King verdict came out and some students um, threw ice and threw stuff at me, um, you know, were violent uh, because they just assumed that because everybody else was going downtown to loot, I was going to go downtown and loot. When I left California and I went to the University of Pittsburgh for undergrad school and I started talking, people just assumed that I said LA, so I had to be from Compton. I had to be from the ghetto. I had to be from the hood. Um, and how could I talk so proper? Why did I sound so white? Was uh, some of the things that I heard when I first got to college. Black History Month uh, means to me, it's a time of celebration of what it just means to be an African American. Uh, one where we acknowledge the history of what everyone has gone through to get to where they are today. Um, there have been lots of people who have demonstrated multiple struggles beyond whatever I've ever faced. Um, but if it wasn't for those people to have gone through the struggles, then I couldn't be sitting here today as a professional, as a educated person, as a strong African American person motivating and, and impacting the lives of others. So it's it's an important month to, to me personally just because it gives me a chance to really truly acknowledge what has come, the legacy that's come before me, not necessarily from family, but again, just in general from a historical perspective. But Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, has just always been that inspiration for me um, because just uh, I don't believe in violence. I just haven't my whole life and regardless to what situation I've ever been in, I just don't believe that that has to be a violent way to solve it. So although some people had to be violent and I understand that, um, but the fact that, you know, Gandhi, the fact that Dr. Martin Luther King, the fact that even Jesus himself found ways to do it in a non-violent way um, to demonstrate who they were and what they believe in has always been very close to my heart and has really, really um, given me the courage to endure some of the things I've gone through in life today. I think if the historians were to walk in, they'd probably be given advice on how we could do and strive to meet those um, goals, but I think that they would be pleased to see that we haven't given up on those goals either, because we could have stopped. And we could have said, well, we got a president, that's it. And we didn't. We're doing everything we can. And I think, you know, the youth are trying. I think the youth want to see a better tomorrow, but they also have to be willing to do it in a positive way, not just a violent way. So my advice to young people today is they need to be themselves. They need to rise above where they've come from. They don't need to let that be the only thing that impacts them. The hands go up and I say, why do you fill out white? And students will say, well, because that's what I am. And I said, really? Because you know, I see a little rouge, I see the little red. I try to get them to recognize that that's just not the color that they are. So then when I say, how many of you fill out black? And people put their hands up and they say, well, that's what I am. And I say, really? Because black is a pretty dark color and you're rather light skinned. So the point that I want to make to them is, is that they're multiple shades. They're not just one solid color. So why should they be defined by that color? You know, everyone comes from a struggle. Everyone has a story. Everyone has history. 
Um, some people might have more positive than others, but everybody has gone through something and it is what has made them the person they are today. So young people need to recognize that there's more to life than just their current circumstances. If they dream to see something bigger than what they've seen currently, it's okay. Uh, they should. They should want to dream to be more than what their parents were. They should want to be more than what their grandparents were. They want to leave an impression or leave an impact that is important. So my advice to them is be themselves, but be beyond what they can see themselves be, not limit themselves. Shoot for the stars. <laughs>